Do you want to own your own FM radio station? Do you seriously want to put your music collection or talk programming on the air? This video will show you how to put a micro power radio station on the air. Here's what you need to start broadcasting. Enjoy! Now the first thing I like to do when I start broadcasting is look for an open frequency. You can do this by going to radio-locator.com. They have a nifty tool there that finds unused frequencies in your area. You just type in your town, in my case Salt Lake City, and it finds all the radio stations in your area and tells you which stations would be best to transmit on. This is primarily used for low power stuff, like those in-car transmitters. The second thing you need to do is double check the frequency. A car radio is really good for this. Car radios are usually really sensitive and can pick up farther away stations that you may have not known exist. Now, why you need to do this is it's very important. You don't want to trample somebody else's reception. It's just a no-no here in the United States. What you need to broadcast? Well, you need an FM transmitter, of course. The one seen here is an FM25B from RamseyElectronics.com. It comes in a kit, and you can build it if you're uh, really tech savvy. Otherwise, you can buy it online. Your audio source is really up to you. I use my computer to broadcast my radio station, and it carries all sorts of MP3s and files and stuff. And if you don't have one, buy a radio. Buy a radio for your monitoring your radio station. Now here is the program I use. It's called Winamp, which can be downloaded at www.winamp.com. And it lists all the songs I have and all the songs I can play. The most important component of your radio station is the antenna. Choose one suited for FM broadcasting. So now we're going to check out the station's range in my fancy Subaru Outback right here. We're starting directly from the transmitting source, which is right there. And we're going to see how far my station goes and how far yours could potentially go as well. Let's do it. When you want to start broadcasting, keep in mind the FCC has rules against this stuff. You're only limited to a certain amount of power, and you're only limited to broadcast a certain amount of range, and you can't interfere with anybody else's broadcast. If you do and you get caught, don't hold me responsible. It's your fault. Thank you.